Good God. That's Speaking a hell of, of superheroes. A I know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you and Kimberly. You get sweetest, sweetest text last week. And it really meant a lot. And you being oh, back at welcome. work means a lot to me because I, I can't live without the Bob Seska show. Do you understand? <laughs> Yes, I've been told that that's uh, <laughs> people were missing it. And yes. it was, you know what? It's nice to get away and recharge, refuel the outrage tanks, which were running uh, yeah. desperately low, yeah. <laughs> running into that uh, two week break. But yeah. uh, it's nice to be back with yeah. uh, Buzz and Jody and David and Kimberly. Yeah. 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 And you're welcome for sharing, Jody. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Congratulations <laughs> she's to our Jody. Bink- she's our binky. <laughs> and, and and we're already missing Travis. I know. Uh, it's just so oh, it's, he, it's sad and great at the same time. It's, oh, I'm yeah. still here, oh, lady. Okay. Oh, anyway. he's there? Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, thought that was a ghost. Apparently. Was like, what, what am I, I seeing? Is I thought it, it was Travis. I'm not back from vacation yet or something. I'm hallucinating. This disembodied voice over here. <laughs> By the um, way, Travis's T-shirt is awesome. I just wanted to. I'm, I'm sending say, you the just, link to how to compliment buy for it. Travis's shirt. Yeah. By the way, congratulations on your new Nerdcast. Is that the name of it? Oh no, I'm sorry. Trek Politics is the <laughs> name of it. And you talked to our yes. good friend Tim Russ, who's you. You did. Yeah. You might know uh, Tim Russ is a stoic, emotionless Vulcan from Voyager and Picard S3, but he's also a Stephanie Miller Show listener, which means he's funny, insightful, and has excellent taste in talk radio. You should listen to my and Mary Trump's chat with him. I heard it was yeah. fantastic. I was a little busy last week, but I will listen. I heard it was fantastic. Yeah, I said to him, you know, because you listen to the Stephanie Miller Show, that adds a whole new dimension to how I see his character, Tuvok. He's the Vulcan who loves fart jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. He so sent I made us... sure to emphasize oh, that. He sends us nerd stuff like this. Remember the. Somewhere in the United States. Captain, we are under attack by Republicans. Fire phasers, Mr. Tuvok. Phasers are offline, Captain. Photon torpedoes. Negative. Warp drive. Inoperable, Captain. Shields. Nope. Are the toilets working? No, ma'am. Well, what do we have, Mr. Tuvok? We have the Stephanie Miller Show. Fire a full spread, Mr. Tuvok. Aye, Captain. Direct hit. The Republicans are returning to Fox News. <laughs> He's such a nerd. That's awesome. I love that. I think he made those sounds himself. Bing, bing, twing, twing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if something happens to Rocky Mountain Mike, we get Tim Russ to step in, and especially with the Kate Mulgrew impression, which I wow. did he do the Kate Mulgrew I, I, voice? I, too? I don't know how he did it. I think that's him. Nerd. So great. Nerd. Oh my God. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trekpolitics.com, by the way. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Listen um, to the show. You are retweeted Trump. Trump, I got indicted. I said, I can't believe it. I got indicted. I could tell you stories of what happens when I went down to New York with policemen looking at me and crying. You just said whiny McWinerton can't stop whining. Oh, my God. And not one policeman looked at him crying. Oh, my God. That story about his, what was that, his yeah. first arrest? His first arrest, right? Yes, in New York. It's the same story over and over and over again. He just keeps repeating it like those sir stories he yes. does, which are entirely <laughs> made sir. up. Tears in their eyes. Sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, one of the things I was doing during my very restful vacation yes. was reading about uh, the rise of the cult surrounding Donald Trump and how they see him as this flawed messianic character. It fits perfectly into sort of this uh, almost religious style creation myth with Donald Trump. And you know what? (laughs) Didn't help my restful vacation at all. (laughs) Kind of put me on edge for a few days there. Like, how do we deprogram these people? I mean, Kimberly and I were, Kimberly and I do a show that we don't record every night on, <laughs> on our <your> couch. couch. <laughs> yeah, where we yell at each other and debate and talk about that. The, we don't yell at each other. That would be huge if you record that. That would just be huge. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah, very, very interesting. That would be fun. Um, but w- we were talking last night about this idea of whether or not these people can be deprogrammed from this cult. Like, if we all had family members who had fallen into some sort of weird religious cult or something like that would we try to stage an intervention or something try to deprogram them from being in that would but now we're talking about a political cult that is extraordinarily insidious and circulating around this one guy who they now worship as this deity as this uh divine hero this messenger from providence you know it's insane yeah, yeah, and this um, town hall he did last night with Hannity, 
He said again, Mexico did pay for the wall. No. In fact, even more than I asked for. Like, it just, yeah. I, that's why I got it built. Like, he, he just, I, I, and that's what I, and they believe that, I guess. He just does mm-hmm. the lies over and over again. And, yeah. yeah. Like, we, we put yeah. it on for a little while. And, yeah. and Dylan and I were having that conversation. It was like, you could see that he was, like, throwing stuff out there. And as soon as something got, like, a little bit of a clap or applause or yeah. reaction, then he, like, dove into it. Like, he, you could just see, like, the yeah. snake oil being sold. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. And you can also see just how pathetic and needy he is, yes. how brittle he is yep. underneath it all. And, it, you know, it just makes us feel like we're taking crazy pills when we see that these people still worship him and don't don't see any of the things that we see. The the massive character flaws and the crimes and just the disrespect and indecency of this guy. And uh, I, I don't know how we I don't know how we operate a democracy moving forward. I'm getting into the big existential issues here this morning. Yes, Stephanie. yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> how we move forward as a democracy when a considerable portion of our political debate in this country is occupied by people who have been indoctrinated into a political cult. Well, and it's uh, and I it's think, tragic. And I don't know how we get out. And I think the Michigan electors, it's a good start, Bob, because I know yeah. we've all just been like, how do we? How do they get away with this? Well, hopefully they're not going to. It's taken, you know, in many people's opinions, far too long. But, you know, I, I don't think Michigan's going to be the only state. And you've got to do it. You have got to have a deterrent for anybody ever trying this again. They defrauded oh, yeah. the people of their states. They fraudulently claimed that Donald Trump won their state when he did not. You just you, you just can't have it. I mean, and I think mm-hmm. um, this J6, I know it's hard to think of which criming is more important you know but i guess this one is pretty critical this is our democracy if we say this is okay that someone can try to overturn our our, our uh, democracy then then that that game over right yeah oh yeah absolutely so i hope that these investigations and indictments create sort of this critical mass that squeezes this at least enough of these people out of their torpor, out of their stunned cult worship, whatever there is, the the delusion, the delirium that they're caught within. And maybe this fake electors thing combined with the impending indictment over January 6th and conspiracy to, to defraud the United States appears to be one of the charges in that uh in that target letter so uh, and that you combine that with the mar-a-lago documents thing and then new york and georgia and whatever else fake electors in multiple states including pennsylvania and arizona and uh, to me it's all treason it's all treason from the beginning yeah with from trump russia from you know like from through sedition to espionage like it's all yeah yeah okay i uh I mean, I, but I don't even know if that's going to do it. I almost feel like, and this is one of the things we were uh, doing on our fake show last night, me and Kimberly, <laughs> is talking about, yeah, do we approach our family members and our friends who have been indoctrinated into this cult? And do we try to individually deprogram them? Or is there some sort of larger political activity that needs to go on yeah. uh, in order to disabuse them of these <laughs> insane notions about this guy and the things that Fox News is saying and, and so on? I don't know what the solution is. You know, I was just saying this, Bob, in light of that my mom was a lifelong Republican, Fox News watcher. Yeah. Just, you know, she has Alzheimer's. She was 100. We stopped talking about politics. And I was saying that, Bob, that I, in the end, I think all there is is love. And maybe that's how yeah. we heal this nation is one person you love at a time. But, you know, I, I'm not back right a day, Travis, before I'm I, like Lindy Lee's tweet today. Lauren Boebert threw away a pin honoring a murdered Uvalde kid right in front of the people who gave it to her. Cruz and Abbott didn't attend a single Uvalde funeral. Republicans wear assault weapons pins instead of the American flag. The pro-life party is the biggest scam in America. You've got, you yeah. know, Greg Abbott telling it, troopers to push women and children back into the Rio Grande, put razor wire in there drown them i mean i I don't they this is a party that is just based on cruelty the best i can tell so i don't know how you start with that it's it's cruelty that fuels a cynical cash grab i mean lauren bobert threw that pin away because she knew as soon as the video got out as soon as the word got out about that that her fundraising would go up marjorie taylor green is 1000% 1000% about raising as much money as she possibly can. So every yeah. time she opens her giant yapper, that's what happens. Uh, suddenly there's an, uh, a tsunami of cash rolling into her super PACs and her campaign accounts and so her war chest. That's happening all the time. And uh, again, 
it's you know this idea that uh, there's a demographic in this country that has historically given all of their life savings and emptied their checking accounts for faith healers and traveling road shows that you know roll into town and dupe everybody thinking that they're you know it's some sort of tent revival and uh and of course it's all bogus and bs they don't know it and uh, the same thing is happening it's sort of extended into the political realm and it's been going on for years i remember glenn beck i'm sure you do too yeah. where glenn no, beck style on... my uh, my mom's bird used to masturbate to uh, glenn beck specifically <laughs> on fox news <laughs> i didn't know that i yeah. i, I yeah. now i'm having a hard time getting that visual out of my head <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and me both. Um, but, you know, his style when he was on Fox News was entirely like a like a televangelist. And, yeah. and that was intentional yeah. because that works. It's very easy to see how a certain demographic in this country gets taken in by these professional scam artists. And, and they just adapted it for politics, the Republican Party. Yeah. And uh, well, and here we are. And speaking of not, and we were just talking about this is like the worst sequel ever. We're just like slow motion, like, no. <laughs> it's like the right, spilling the red wine on the white carpet commercial. No, no. not yeah. again. Yeah. Um, but you, uh, Bobby Kennedy, hi, 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 tweeted, uh, oh, God. this cynical maneuver is consistent with the mainstream media playbook to discredit me as a crank and by association discredit revelations of genuine corruption and collusion. And you said when it comes to vaccines, you were discredited as a crank 10 plus years ago. You just happened to be enjoying a resurgence due to disinformation driven wave of uh, all new cranks. I mean, yeah, I, I, I've said it a million times. I knew Bobby. I was a friend. I, I, I don't know what's happened to him, but he is a complete crank and he is dangerous and his family yeah. is speaking out about it. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Right. right. Well, once again, it's the cynical cash grab. That's entirely what it is. And what we have to do in this country, and one of the, da- the, the big pieces of damage that was created by Donald Trump is that political tourists are qualified somehow to be president. Uh, RFK Jr., Marianne Williamson, the large array of freaks and weirdos on the Republican side who have no business being anywhere near government, are suddenly seen as qualified to do that job. And I also I always ask the hypothetical question, would you be okay with RFK Jr. or Marianne Williamson flying your commercial jet from New York to LA? Would you be okay with RFK Jr. or Marianne Williamson cutting you open on a surgeon's table? If, if the answer is no, why on earth would you want them to be in control of the nuclear arsenal in the United States, control over the world's largest economy? That's insanity. Well, I don't know how we got to this point where we think that just anyone can be president of the United States. Anyone could take this impossible task in their hand and do it without any experience. I blame Donald Trump. We're just like, okay, yeah, that's the reality show guy. Yeah, he's Um, he's yeah, he's one of the prime suspects for why there's that idea that anyone can do this job because Donald Trump did it for four years. Yeah. (laughs) Um,